Hello everyone. In the last lesson, we introduced how to manually create a React project using React scripts. React scripts is one of the core libraries used in the once popular Create React App scaffolding tool. However, due to two main reasons, it is no longer the best solution. First, React scripts uses Webpack as its build tool which requires parsing the entire dependency graph and generating bundled files. Whether in development mode or production mode, it performs a complete build, so the speed is relatively slow. Second, React Scripts has not been updated for a long time, and many libraries it references have been deprecated. So today, we will introduce another way, which is to manually create a React project using Vite. In this lesson, we will once again start with a manual creation approach, step by step, being everyone understanding the structure of the project and the purpose of each main file, so that you not only know what it is, but also why it is. Alright, first let's take a look at what VIT is and distinguish between two concepts, VIT and Create VIT. VIT is a modern build tool designed for a lightning fast development, leveraging native ES models for a more efficient development experience. It simplifies the configuration process compared to traditional bundlers like Webpack. CreateVit is a CLI tool provided by Vite to scaffold projects quickly. It sets up a basic project with predefined configurations, saving time for developers who want to start coding immediately. If we compare it to the traditional method introduced in the last lesson, VIT is equivalent to React scripts, and create VIT is equivalent to the create React app scaffolding tool. Of course, there are significant differences between the two, as their underlying principles and the implementations are entirely different. However, since we do not need to understand their implementation for now, for ease of understanding and the memory, we can compare Vite to React scripts in terms of functionality, and create Vite to create React app. The reason we are learning manual creation instead of using scaffold tools to create a complete project with templates in one step is to become familiar with the project structure, various configurations and files. Manual configuration is also more flexible, allowing us to set it up according to our needs, making the created project more streamlined and lightweight. Alright, let's now use Vite to recreate the list project from the last lesson. Before starting, let's quickly review the traditional manual build process introduced in the last lesson. Step 1. Create two essential folders and files in the project. The public folder with an index.html file, which is the project's homepage template, and the src directory with an index.js file, which is the project's entry point. All source files are placed in the src folder. Step 2. Use the npm init command to create a package.json file and initialize the project. Step 3. Install React, React DOM, and the React scripts. And step 4. Write the code. Add code to index.html 
and index.js. Of course, in the real project, other code files and style files would also be created. Step 5. Start the development server and run the project. Now, creating with Vite is quite similar. Let's do it together. So the first step is still to create the necessary folders and files in the project root directory. The reasons are similar to the last lesson, as they are determined by Vite's conventions. If you don't follow them, you will need to do more configurations, which is currently unnecessary. However, note that unlike React scripts, Vite's convention places the home page templates file index.html directly in the project root directory instead of the public directory. The source files are also placed in the src directory, but the entry file this time is not index.js. We need to create a .jsx file. If we later use the create weight scaffolding tool to create a project, the entry file it automatically generates will be main.jsx or main.tsx for TypeScript. So here, to align with create weight, we name it main.jsx. The second step is still to initialize the project using the npm init command or young init. You can add a hyphen y to quickly generate a package.json file with default settings. Step 3 Install React, React DOM, and this time install Vite instead of React Scripts. Note that it is recommended to install Vite as a, a development dependency rather than a production dependency like React scripts. The reason is that Vite uses Rollup as its build tool for production. And the production code does not need any runtime or tool support from Vite. So the command can be written as npm i react react dom and npm i hyphen d vit. Run the command. You'll find that the speed is very fast. This one takes 3 seconds and that one takes 5 seconds adding up to 8 seconds. Do remember how long it takes to install the three files in the last lesson? 2 minutes. Isn't Vite speed much better? Next is to write the code. Add root div in index.html. Then, in index.js, copy over the code from the last lesson. Then, run the project. Use the command npx vite. Open the browser and we find... Oh, nothing. Why is that? This is because when using Vite, we need to manually import the JS entry file in index.html. Vite does not automatically import it for us like React Scripts does. But even after importing, it still doesn't work. We also need to import React here. Import React from React. Now you see it renders successfully. 
This is because Vite converts our JSX code into a React create element form in the background. And this create element needs to be imported from the React library. However, if we use the create vid tool to create a project, it will by default install a plugin for us called uh, vid.js plugin react. This plugin enhances vid support for react, including enabling fast refresh in development using the automatic JSX runtime and using custom Babel plugins or presets. In short, after installing, one benefit is that we don't need to import React if we don't use it in our code. All right, let's install it. npm i hyphen d at vite.js and then slash plugin react. It can also be installed as a development dependency. After installation, we need to configure it. The method is clearly written in the official documentation. Create a vite.com config.js and copy this code into it. All right, start the server. and it renders successfully. Finally, we can add some commonly used commands to package.json and rename them. You can directly copy them from the documentation. Dev, it starts Vite's development server, replacing the npx vid command with npm run dev. The project is started on the development server. Build. This command uses a vid to build the project, generating compressed and optimized production code. Vite packages the code generating a dist directory similar to the build directory from the last lesson. It contains static files like HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, ready for development to the production environment. Preview After creation, we can use the preview command to preview the production version files locally to confirm the application's performance in the production environment. We can try it npm run preview. It looks the same as the page opened with npm run dev. The difference is that running dev starts the development server with live hot reloading. Running preview starts a static file server, allowing us to locally preview the build production version of the static files. It doesn't have live hot reloading. So modifying files won't affect the preview page unless you rebuild the project and restart the preview static file server. All right, in this lesson, we introduced how to manually create a React project using Vite. We first distinguished between Vite and CreateVite.
explained why learning the manual creation method is important, and went over the steps to manually create a React project using Vite, comparing it to the traditional method from the last lesson. Vite is faster, but it requires us to manually import the entry file into the home page template file. To get the best support for React, it is recommended to install and configure the plugin React plugin. Finally, we talked about three commonly used commands: starting the development server, building the project to generate a production version, and locally previewing the built production version to see the final result. That's all for this lesson. Thank you for watching. If you found this content helpful, please thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Thank you for your support, and see you in the next lesson.